Our main focus for today, we are going to look at Mathematics 1613. The topic is related rates. Let us start. Suppose we are given this particular question. The question is saying the volume of a cube is increasing at a rate of 1200 cm3 per minute at the moment when the lengths of the sides are 20 cm. How fast are the lengths of the sides increasing at that moment? Now, before we answer this question, there is something that we need to take note and know. We should be able to find the derivative of any variable with respect to t, which is time, since this chapter is related rates. Now, suppose you are given this equation. And then you want to find the derivative of this with respect to x. The derivative will be, we know that the derivative of x squared is 2x multiplied by dx over dx plus 2y multiplied by dy over dx. It's equals to 2r multiplied by dr over dx. So as we all know that dx over dx is equal to 1. So 1 multiplied by 2x is actually 2x. And then we are left with this. So whenever you derive a different variable from the one we are looking for, it's important for you to put actually this type of a notation. The derivative of this with respect to y so you are going to have the derivative of y is 1 1 multiplied by dy over dx no dy over dy actually with respect to y and then we have 2x multiplied by dx over dy plus the derivative of 2 actually the derivative of a constant is always 0 then from here we have uh, 1 is equals to 2x multiplied by dx over dy. So you can actually see that when you're deriving a different variable, it is important for you to actually write this because we are going to need we are we are going to need these skills when we are looking at related rates. Now we are back to this question we need to analyze what we are given. So analyzing this question, we can see that we are given this. The volume of a cube is increasing at the rate of. So what we actually have, we have dv over dt, which is equal to 1200 centimeter cube per minute. at the moment when the length of the sides are so we actually have the length of the sides which is 20 centimeter then the question is seeing how fast are the length of the sides increasing at that moment so how fast how fast actually means it's d something over dt so in this case is dl over dt that is what we are looking for. When actually, when we draw this shape, the cube is something like this. So what happens is that the volume of this cube is increasing at this rate. And then as this volume is increasing, the question is actually looking for the sides the rate at which the size of this cube is increasing. So we need to look at the given rates. The given rate is dv over dt, that is the volume. So we need to find the equation of the volume 
of this shape which is our cube so we know that the properties of a cube is actually a square in three dimension so we have the length length and length so the volume is this side multiplied by this side multiplied by this one multiplied by this one which will be v is equals to l multiplied by l multiplied by l that is equals to l cube so the equation to calculate the volume of a cube is l to the power three or cube so focusing on this equation we should be able to derive with respect to time t so what we are going to do we are going to find the derivative of this equation with respect to time so the derivative of v is 1 multiplied by dv over dt it's equals to the derivative of l cubed it will be 3 l squared multiplied by dl over dt so we actually have dv over dt it's equals to 3 l squared multiplied by dl over dt remember from the given data we are looking for dl over dt we have dv over dt and then we also have length so from this equation what we have we actually have this we have this and then we are looking for this so what we can do we can direct substitute we have 1200 is equals to 3 our l is 20 centimeters squared multiplied by dl over dt then from here we can solve for dl over dt we divide both sides by 3 20 squared 320 squared and then this will result into 1 1 multiplied by dl we actually have d l over dt it's equals to 1200 over 320 squared we can further simplify this so dl over dt it's equals to 1200 is the same as uh, 3 multiplied by 400 and then at the bottom we have 3 multiplied by 20 squared it's 400 so we actually have dl over dt is equals to 1 centimeter per minute How did we work out this SI unit? Now we know that length, DL, this is the length, length is measured in centimeter. Over DT, time is measured in minutes according to this equation. Same goes to DA over DT. DA is the area. The area is measured in centimeter squared over minute. Sometimes it will be over seconds. And then dv v is the volume volume is measured in centimeter cubed it's actually unit cube so it might be meters cube or liters and then dt it's minutes so for this particular question this is the actual answer that's it for this lesson video this is wahula sj thank you very much